In a Rankine cycle, steam enters the turbine at 2.5 MPa and condenser of 50 kPa. All the properties are given down here. What is the thermal efficiency of the cycle? So, since there is no mention of a reheat or feed water system, we will assume this is a simple Rankine cycle. So, we are trying to find the thermal efficiency of the cycle. That would be our E in percent. And in a simple Rankine cycle, the formula for the thermal efficiency is H1 minus H4 minus H2 minus H3 over H1 minus H4. Now H1 minus H4 is simply the heat added. H2 minus H3 is simply the heat rejected over the heat added again. So let us now draw our TS diagram for our simple Rankine cycle. bottom here we have our pressure line of 50 kilopascals at the top we have our pressure line of 2500 kilopascals so we have four points in a simple Rankine cycle we have the steam entering from here so uh, H1, and then it goes through the turbine into the condenser. This is where H2 would be, and then it leaves the condenser, goes into the pump at H3, then it leaves the pump, goes into the boiler, and then repeats the cycle by going back into H1 again. Now, I'm sorry if this is entirely this isn't entirely accurate, but it will do for now. So we simply need to identify which of these values here pertain to which enthalpies there are on this um, TS diagram. So obviously we have the steam entering our steam turbine, so H1 would be. You guessed it, on the 2.5 MPa pressure line, that would be 2,803.1 kilojoules per kilogram, and same for its entropy. In kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Here is where it gets a little airy, since now the steam is a mixture of both dry steam and moist, uh, moisture so this means this would be hf sub 2 plus x hfg2 and the same is true for our entropy which is almost the same formula all right so we actually have our HF sub 2 already here, and if HFG2 is also right here, we just need to find our moisture, or, or um, as they call it, steam quality rather. But how do we find that? So we use our entropy. This one is also given right here. This one is given right here. Now you may be asking, where do we get the S2? Well, if you see this line right here, it goes straight down, which means S1 is equal to S2, right? So we now have everything we need to find our steam quality. Let's uh, use our calculator for that. So S sub 1 is 6.2575. And there we have it. Our steam quality at 
7945. Simply input that there and calculate it. And we do get our H sub 2 of 2172.13. Kilojoules per kilogram. Now, H3 is where the steam leaves the condenser and enters the pipe, or rather the pump. So that means H sub 3 is simply equal to H uh, F sub 3, which is equal to 340.49. Right? Kilojoules per kilogram. Next, we need our H sub 4, which has the formula of H sub 3 plus the specific volume times the difference between the two pressures. Remember that this is the point where the steam uh, enters the boiler. So it's going to have some pump work into it, which means this is simply the work done by the pump. Okay, so H sub 3 is 340.49. And our specific volume is given here. Let's actually compute for the pump work directly in our calculator. And make sure the Pressure difference is in the same units in KPA. And uh, that looks like, let's check, it looks correct. All right, 0.5235, meaning our H sub 4 would be 343.01. 343.01 Now we have everything we need to find the thermal efficiency of our cycle H sub 1 H sub 2 H sub 3 and of course H sub 4 Let's directly input that in our calculator. And there we have it. Multiply that by 100. We get a thermal efficiency of 25.45 sent and that oh sorry i meant 25.55 percent that is our final answer if this helped you consider liking and subscribing and supporting me on patreon thank you and good luck